All right, folks, in my previous video about firmware 2.02 for the Weeble S, I stated that the new Vortex mode didn't work properly. So I've been on a quest to figure this out, and luckily, this community are very supportive, and we have a solution. Thanks to some of you guys for pointing me in the right direction, but it is not perfect. So let's take a look at what we can do with the new updated Weeble S Vortex mode. So we can see if it actually works. Here we go. So as I said, let's take a look at the new Vortex mode on the Weeble S. One of the new features is that it can keep spinning 360 without you having to touch the joystick. But before I show you how this is done, let me just round up a story from a previous video so you won't make the same mistake as Seth did. Let me just switch this off here. So in my previous video, I tested out uh, updating the Weeble S from 1.98 directly to 2.02 because Seb had a problem that it was just spinning wildly after he had updated it. So I tested it out with this old Weeble S to see if I could get the similar problem as he had. But I couldn't, nothing was wrong, it worked perfectly. But then Seb wrote back and said, I found the problem. He found out that he had a Weeble Lab that he had tried to update with Weeble S firmware and that bricked out his Weeble S completely. There's nothing he can do, it's not working anymore, we have to send it in, send it in for repair. And then, yes, it is a user error, but it is also Shuen's fault that they haven't made uh, it impossible to do because they can just code it so that if you try to update your Weeble Lab with Weeble S firmware or your Weeble S with Crane 2S firmware, it's not possible, but you can actually do that and it will destroy your gimbal. So just make sure that when you update your gimbal that you use the correct firmware to update it so you won't destroy your gimbal. All right, that was just a quick story. I just want to round that up so you won't miss make the same mistake. Let's take a look at the vortex mode uh, and how it looks in the new settings right here and some of the footage that I shot yesterday. All right, let's take a look at this vortex settings on firmware 2.02 and what you can adjust and how it actually works because it is not that logical and how you get it to spin once you have set your settings. And it was one of you guys that out there that pointed me in the right direction here with three tapping on the POV button or the go button. Someone said the go button actually, but it is the POV button uh, that makes this work. But let's go into the settings down to vortex. There we go. And we have a couple of options. The first one is direction. Which direction do you want the gimbal to move? Let's just put that on minus, which it is. And then we have speed. How fast do you want the pan motor to turn. Let's just bump this up so we can see how fast it goes. We can bump it all up to 100, there we go. And then we got custom. And what is custom? Custom is how many times do you want the gimbal to turn once you have uh, triple clicked this one. So let's just put this to two. And then unlimited, if you press unlimited, then you can see there's an X on custom. That means it will just spin uh, inevitable. So until you stop it, it will just keep spinning. But let's just go back to two and then just save and double click to put it into vortex and triple click to start the motion. And then it spins around two times because our custom mode is on two. There you go. And you can see there's a hard stop when it comes back. And I wish that they had made this with like a smooth transition because you can see it in the footage. Once it's stopped, you get that hard stop and sometimes it doesn't go all the way back to zero. It just stops and then it eases in. It will not nice that it just stops slowly back to zero. You can see and then it takes some time to get back. So if you wanted to make a transition, you get a hard stop and it looks horrible. But this is how it's done, and I just wish that Shuen would put it in the text file, how it's done in the description 
of what to do when you update your gimbal. If you go down to the settings here and limit it and change that to the X there on custom, then the gimbal will turn inevitable. Let's see, triple clip and it'll start turning. If you wanna stop this motion, all you have to do is triple click and it will stop. And if you triple click again, it will start. But if you wanna stop it and it will have to go back to the zero position, you click this one four times. It stops and it goes back to the zero position. That's what you can adjust, but there's one problem. You can see if you switch off your gimbal, it will forget your settings. Let me just try to do that. It will go back to the default settings. So you have to do this each and every time. So if you're on a shoot and you want to use this a number of times, just put your gimbal into sleep mode instead of switching it off. See Vortex, see all the settings are back to default. All right, that is how you adjust the settings in the new Vortex menu. Let's move on to the next one. All right, then to the biggest problem of all, and that is the pan motor is moving when we want to use it in vortex mode. And to demonstrate this, I will need my old Weeble S, which I had put firmware 1 LR 2.01 in. Then you can see the difference and what I mean. All right, so if you put this in vortex mode, there you go, you can see if we turn this down, once I turn the gimbal, the pan motor turns. So if you want to use vortex mode, you have to be a super ninja, not to move your handle just a bit to move the, uh, the actual gimbal because it will also move once it start turning. So I would actually say that before they fix this, vortex mode is unusable. And it is actually noticeable in some of this footage I shot yesterday. You can see some of that small uh, bumps and stuff in there. And I also forgot my lens support. I forgot what it was. My lens support. And then I like to strap my camera pack down with some kind of strap so I know that it is tight in there. And there's also another thing you have to remember, and that is to tighten all the locks just a tiny bit more because they can slide down as it begins to turn. So. Uh, turn the knobs firmly so that you know that everything is nice and tight. But let me just switch to the old Weeble S so you can see what the difference is. All right, so we magically got it onto the other gimbal and we'll just move this one so you can see what it does. If we put it into vortex mode, now when I point this down in vortex mode, if I turn the handle, the gimbal won't move, you see? The pan motor stays where it is. And then it's much easier to make a nice transition when you're walking forward because you can wiggle a bit around with your hand without affecting the pan motor. So this is kind of a problem on, on firmware 2.02. So hopefully they will fix this very fast because it is so hard to use this as it is right now. I like the new features that they have done where you can use it without uh, using the joystick because this enables you to do a lot of other creative stuff. You can use this extension pull, you can just put the gimbal down and start it turning. I tried a bunch of fun things yesterday where I just walked around the gimbal. I tried to point it as high as I could in the air uh, with my short extension, the uh, Carbon Fiber one. I'll just show you it with this one, the carbon fiber one. If you don't have one of these uh, or two of those, I like to have two because then you can extend it out and, and it always fit in the backpack. So before they fix the issue, it is unusable I'd say, but I like the new features. So Shuen, come on, please update it so we can use Vortex mode as it should be. All right, guys, that is it. That is my video on Vortex mode. If you got any questions, you can always drop, drop them down below and I will answer as good as I can. And of course, if this is the first time you're here, remember to subscribe if you want to learn more about filmmaking with motion. That is it. Stay safe and stay creative. And if you can, go out and shoot some dope videos. See you next time. Bye.